Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for stopping by and checking out another video here at One Seed One World. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, so it's snowing again this morning. Um, we're supposed to get, I think, like two to four inches of snow this morning. Last Sunday and Monday, uh, we got a foot of snow. So we have definitely surpassed uh, the snow totals that we have had actually probably combined in the last couple of years. Because um, back like a month or so ago, we had, I don't know, six or eight inches of snow too. But um, so another snowy day. Fortunately, I did get um, all of the uh, new batch of firewood in and stacked up by the side of the house so I can, um, or we can have these nice fires on a snowy Sunday morning. Um, been pretty much staying home with all the, the snow. Haven't been able to go out and work on the greenhouse or do any of the projects outside. Um, I did get some um, butternut squash bread baked this past week though, and I'll post a recipe link for that um, probably within the next couple of days. Uh, did have a kind of a synchronicity of events, <laughs> I guess you'd call it, uh, that happened this week that was very fortunate. So, um, you know, I don't know if the, the universe was looking out for me or if it was, uh, you know, whatever your beliefs are, if it was the good Lord taking care of me or um, if it was just dumb luck, but uh, I went grocery shopping a couple days ago, and when I got home, uh, we were cleaning some stuff out of the fridge to make room for some of the new, um, you know, veggies or whatever that I got, and we had some leftover spinach um, from before that I decided to take out and, and give to the chickens. Um, so, got it together, and when I went to walk outside, this great big hawk uh, flew and landed on, or was trying, just starting to land on the top of our uh, chicken run. Now it is covered with wire, so it, he wouldn't be able to get in there, but he was big. He was probably the same size, if not bigger, as most of our hens. Um, but as I walked out the door, he then didn't quite land. He, he flew up into the maple tree where I took this picture real quick with my phone, um, but it didn't come out very good because I was kind of running over there to try to get the picture. But the thing is, is that where he flew into the maple tree right above the garden there, when I walked around to take the picture of him before he flew off, I happened to see that the faucet um, out in the garden where we hooked the garden hose had burst from all the ice and stuff um, and was spraying water all over the place and it had probably been running for a couple of hours um, because it had eaten or it you know melted off all the snow in one area and I could see where it run down and, and, and created a big puddle down by one of the beds um, but the fact that you know all these things came together that if I hadn't gone grocery shopping and decided to go out and feed the chickens, I wouldn't have seen this hawk. And if the hawk hadn't flown over and I hadn't gone over to get a picture of him, I would have never seen that the, you know, thing was spraying all over, that the hose was broken. Uh, so it was very fortunate that that happened, that that all came together that way. Um, so I was able to run inside and, and turn off the water in the basement, which is what I should have done you know, at the beginning of the winter. But actually, I have never shut off that hose since we've lived here. Um, and that's now going on nine years. Uh, I've never shut off the, the, the water to the garden. Um, and I never had a problem before, but I think what happened this time was back a couple weeks ago when I was out finishing up the roof on the greenhouse I had painted a board and when I was done painting I had washed my brush out at that garden faucet so there must have been water in there that you know didn't have a chance to um, or there was water in there that normally wouldn't be in there that then froze and then expanded with the melting and, and cracked the top of the pipe I had planned on replacing that this year anyway with a, with a double um, batch or, or a double faucet um, so it's okay. It's um, nothing too major. 
And fortunately, you know, we have a well, so it's not like that water running was gonna run our water bill up. Uh, so, did waste some water, but fortunately we, we caught it in time, thanks to spinach, chickens, and the hawk. So, good stuff. But, um, yeah, that's really, that's all that's been going on here. I just wanted to share that little story. And um, I'll get that butternut squash bread uh, recipe out to you guys here soon. Um, I hope you guys are all staying warm this winter and, and having a good winter. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. And keep a lookout for our upcoming stuff with all the garden stuff coming this year and, and new backyard projects. So have a great day. Namaste.